I am gonna tell you, if I can, to, um... Assign yourself to this front here. There we go. There we are. So we've got another division that is now part of... What is this? And why do we have these people here? This, the first colonial garrison? What the hell? Silly idiots. Okay. I guess... I guess we'll go with communism. I don't know. Fascism is bigger. If we have to decide based on these numbers, I'd go for fascism. I've never gone communism though. <laughs> I want to go for democratic reforms for sure. Uh, yeah, mijn oud van Tonneke. I actually I uh, lived to see his widow. Who was after 60 years after the war still completely convinced she did the right thing. Freaky woman. <coughs> she was completely pro-Hitler in that Nazi uh, party. Alright, we're, well, I'm gonna go with fascism. Fascism on the rise. The higher-ups may harbor unspoken sympathies. We're not gonna go for a civil war. Here we go. Just leave it at that. I know I've got low manpower. That's gonna be it for a while. Oh, whoops. Unpause it. Let's go with speed three. Armament effort is underway, if you will. Okay, so how are we doing with regards to the armament effort? That's uh, we'll go friendly with Hitler. I guess we should. Hello, Herr Hitler. Guten Abend. Bitte einen Nürnberger Bratwurst. Wurst part popular. I have no idea. We could stage a coup and make Hitler great again. <laughs> have him uh, go democratic and then conquer him. That would be silly. And your puppet can be Belgium. Yeah, I know. I know communism won't help much. We'll go fascist. Why the hell not? Well, the, the thing is, I could, I'm almost convinced we should get rid of this whole front line. We're going to just say, no, no, this front line is not going to ne be necessary anymore. I'm going to, I'm going to change that plan. You know, change this part. We won't need it. There we go. No more need for it. And then we have some divisions that are no longer necessary. All right. So that's that. There we go, and then, uh, you know, everyone can sort of assign themselves to, uh... Oh, good. Amelia Earhart's gone. That means the allies won't get a boost. And we're gonna have everyone train on this particular line here. Hello, Belgium. <laughs> oh, army experience. Very soon, we're going to give them heavy tanks. We're gonna build those, too. By the way, we have a factory? Um, oh, we had an extra factory, but not much. We could build armored divisions. We could do that. Why are we still building those? Oh yeah, we are building those. Uh, that's actually true. We are totally building those. There you are. They're railroading their way out. Perfect. Armament effort is going to be done soon. And once we have that, I suppose we'll arm ourselves with tanks. At least one. You know, a tank unit. Or maybe... We'll integrate tanks into our general war plans with regards to uh, the infantry divisions we have. That would probably also work. Is that even aim how? There's a, an anti-air thing in there. Uh, okay. That's cool, man. How many planes do we have? 39. Of the regular fighters. No priority. Yay, we've got tank destroyers. Awesome details I want also want the heaviest um, I guess we'll build the self-propelled gun version of the um, can we or not probably we can't requires technology light tanks we don't have light tanks and we only have great war tanks idiot 
I forgot. I forgot. Alright. No, okay. I like that idea. Self-propelled guns would also work. Go for heavy tank too. We'll go for light tanks as well. I don't know. What would be easier? I guess. We don't have motorized options yet. I guess we'll go for that. We're going Germany completely now. <laughs> Alright. So armament effort. Once it's up, we're going to have how many extra slots? One building slot and an extra military factory. Great job. We should totally talk to Japan. You know, have a little talk about, uh, you know. Hey, Japan. Oh, my. Oh, that's. Yeah, I want to talk to them. Can I. What the hell? Just, uh, give me the default map mode. There we go. <laughs> Hello! You have a Chinese border incident. Improve relations. Yes. That's one. And our other political influence is going to Germany. Because quite honestly, we need that. Treaty with the USSR. Oh, they're going to do their historical thing there. Great job. Awesome. So, communique went out at like 4 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Problem is if you mess with Belgium, France and Britain will butt rape you and you don't get forget about the uh, don't forget about the East Indies. Yeah, I know. But there's no way back now. All right, armament effort is up. Great. Armament effort 3. Can we or can we not? Did we just do it? Yes, we did. Cool. Let's start building those heavy tanks. We'll need those eventually. Total need is still pretty high. Uh, still not happy with the fact that we we're building these ships. I would prefer not to build any ships at the moment. Just leave the... I would like to get rid of the dockyards. I still don't know how there's a way to do that. I know there is. I just haven't figured out how. Call me an idiot. I do not know this thing. How is... Uh, okay. 7% already for NSB. That's super. Let's edit our infantry division thing. And get... We get can get artillery in. I don't want artillery in. Why do we not have that option? Armored battle battalions. Okay, so we don't have that option. That is a bit of a thing, isn't it? Can get more guns. I guess we'll go for more artillery. Because why not? That will require us to up the production a little bit, but that's okay. Recon company is the thing, the next thing I'm going to do. There we go. That should still get us quite a few guns. La 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 la. la, 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 la. We'll start building up a second army here in the Friesland. Yes, indeed. We are joining the Axis. There's no more way back. Slowly but surely. Marco Polo Bridge incident. Yes, there will be a problem in China. We know. With Japanese people. We have the Dutch theater. I suppose we could get these guys a commander. Let's build a, uh, a front line with regards to the United Kingdom. <laughs> that sounds like a real good plan. Uh, let's see. Uh, we need a commander, don't we? Can we get a commander? Where's our divisions? Territorial Commando. This is a regular division. The first division, Java. We're going to give them a commander. Oh. That's actually a really good commander. Um, no. Oh god, no. Um, another one. I need another, a different one. 
New commander. Nicolaas Boers. Okay. Um, yes. There we go. And you are going to have a front line here. That's what I'm thinking. There we go. And all of you are going to join Mr. Boers in an exercise. Exercise. There we go. He's going to exercise. Clearly. And we're going to select all of these. They're all going to be under Boers commands. There we are. And they're all exercising now. Uh, unable to move the province along its path. Which one is that? Where are you? Why? Why would you not get there? Oh, come on. Yes, you can. Shut up. There we go. You're fine. I told you. All right, they're all gonna get more experience for that. And it's, now it's going up quick. Look at that. We have available airplanes in reserves, which is perfect. It's what we need. Technically speaking, we need a lot more in reserve. Got a fighter wing. Create a new fighter wing in Holland. And we'll need quite a few fighter wings. There we go. Number of equipment. 21. Can we get like 100 in that fighter wing? That would be a nice number, I guess. Set the limits. There we go. That's an actual... F that's what I call a fighter wing. <laughs> Alright. Now we don't have any more planes in reserve. We're not building them for no reason anymore. We're building them for a very good reason. Oh god, we need a lot more guns. But we're getting there. We're getting there, you know. Were we constructing any um, Friesland, 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 Brabant? Oh yeah, we were actually constructing a lot of stuff there. We're going to get another fac factory there. That's great. Does Australia do anything in this game? Yes, actually when the UK joins the war, they get dragged in just like Canada and New Zealand. Indeed they are. They are going to be sort of asked to participate. Okay, we've got another factory free now. Well, that's perfect. I'm gonna go with guns, since we need so many. <coughs> Still have plenty of steel, which is good. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna go with destroyers just yet. Heavy cruiser, light cruiser. Ah, we'll finish those. What the hell. Since we have the oil. And after we finish them, we're gonna concentrate on something else we we'll use the template to get some armor in here can we adapt the template probably that we've made um, but we'll do that after we get um, some of this other stuff six days until support weapons Just machine guns and mortars and such How's our, uh, how's this going? Oh, rather good. We've got 10% of the population already, you know, interested. How's our relations? Oh, good. We've got that now. Let's go for support weapons too immediately. Those are useful. 1938. I know they are ahead of time, but then again, so is our artillery. We are going to be a very modern country, as far as I'm concerned. Should keep it off pause. Sorry guys, people, men. Oh, you are not part of an army. Well, you are now. You are going to be part of this line as well. There we go. We've got 12 divisions standing by on the, at the Belgian border. I just hope the Germans will leave us the hell alone. Not sure if they will. How much? Plus 49 already. That's nice. We're gonna get there real soon. 
Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, that's a lot of divisions here in the Ardennes. Liège. You know what? How are our relations with the Belgians? Well, pretty good. They are, our, their opinion is pretty high. And they are actually also going for fascism. Look at that! That is funny. We can improve uh, the uh, in relations with our Belgian uh, brethren. Yeah, we're improving the, those relations. That's great. We should improve relations with Spain as well. I think... Yep, there we go. Improve relations with Spain. We'll do that as well. I know the influence is, is really low right now. But we could use a good relation with, with Spain. You know. Alright, there we are. Armament effort 3. Do we have enough for the extra research slot? No, we don't. Because... Prerequisites have not been met. More than, factories more than 50. The fudge. Okay, we'll go for construction effort in that case. And after we finished that, I guess we'll go for political effort and go down the collective history. But first, this. Alright, you. Uh, you're looking at what's lowest. Oh, them guns, man. Them artillery guns. This would go to tw 22 and a half a day. That's not nearly enough. 3.3 .3 a day. That's also not near enough. We need more steel. Okay. Well, since we're not building anything right now, that is in any way important... I'm gonna say. Does Norway have. Do, do Who has the most steel? The German Reich has some steel. Sweden has some steel. And our relations with the German Reich is best. So I guess. We should get some more of that. Available factories. Okay, we can't. Don't know why. Uh, can we get some more from the US? I don't know. Sweden? Hello? Oh, oopsie daisy. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. We can, uh, we can get those civilian factories out. That's fine. There we are. We'll do this. Sweden is neutral. And now, whatever we do, it's not gonna get rid of all of our steel. Right? I guess we'll go with the towed artillery. I don't know, man. It's got difficult. Isn't it? Yes, it is. I need more rifles as well. Production. 2.1. It's two and a half more a day. It's not much. I guess I'll go with the guns. Guns are key, you know. We need guns, initially. And once we have enough of this, we're gonna go for that armored brigade thing. Within our... Ooh, my. That's not gonna be cool. Poor Chinese. Yeah, 14% for the... Um, my audio cutouts. The stream is lagging. Ah! No! Really? Okay. I'll see what I can do, guys. Oh, we are doing okay. I think it's just Twitch acting like a dick. I'm sorry guys, I don't know what's going on. I'm, I'm 
Maybe is my audio cut out? I'm gonna see if, if I can figure out what's going on. It's Twitch, I'm pretty sure. Twitch being a bitch. Let's go and see if I can hear myself. Oh, well, I can hear myself for sure. So that's not it. Is audio back for everyone? Maybe you should refresh. Uh, hold on. <laughs> that was that was really hot. Uh, audio looks fine on my. Just tested it on mobile. Sounds fine here. I'm not sure what's going on, guys. I'm really not quite sure. We're just gonna let it run. Oh, NSB is really growing. Which is nice, you know. That's cool. Ah! <sighs> Fascist sympathies in the military. Several high ranking members of the Dutch military, these guys, have expressed support, some privately, and some openly for the fascist movement in the Netherlands. CHU has forgotten how important discipline and patriotism is to keep in country together and are increasingly annoyed that the army being treated like the, uh, by the government as more of a tool than one of the nation's most important institutions. The national spirit outranks the government. That is a cool event. That's always a cool event to have. So yes. I'm gonna have these guys join in. I'm gonna assign them to this. How much? Oof, okay. Yeah, we're getting a lot of stuff out of that. That's nifty. Yeah? I'm not sure who, why we're getting this trouble, but we are. Is that a mobile unit? Brigade de Cavalerie Motorisée. Sure, man. What evs? What are we doing right now? We've almost got motorized. We've almost got improved artillery. I like this. This is good news. In 1938, ahead of time. I like that. Motorized infantry is really good. Free division template, which is going to be really good. We'll need rubber for that and oil, but it's still better than having absolutely no division template. So, I'm going to be cool with that. Enjoy that. All right, construction effort is in. That's great. That means we still can't get this one because we don't have 50 factories. We will at some point. Um, we don't need research bonuses for that right now. We're doing fine. I'm going to go with this. A political effort. There we go. We're going to make a political effort to change this. Because this is our main problem now, manpower. Manpower is going to be the issue. It's going to be the issue here. And we should not grab a tissue if there is an issue. Mm, I'd love to change this though. Heavy tanks! Heavy tank destroyer! I'm a guard! I really would like to build this. I'm willing to bet that it's a good addition to my infantry divisions though. I can swap those out completely. Make them make it a heavy armored division uh, with infantry. Interesting that would be. Would increase production costs considerably. And I think what I'm going to go for is edit the infantry division to actually have uh, tanks with them. It's an option. 
We might get that before the war breaks out. The Dutch actually had... No, I'm not going to say a similar idea, a similar situation in place. Anyway, you say it looks great, uh, fine to, to you, uh, Master Splinter, Splinter, but does it sound right to you? Because that's my mammoth more concerned right now. Okay, we've got the motorized thing. The Dutch Confederates, uh, well, hopefully uh, Redneck. I'm not quite sure how this is going to end. I guess we'll need Marines as well uh, at some point. Mechanized weapons too, no. Infantry equipment one. That one though, absolutely. We're doing that. <clears throat> and after we've done support weapons two, I think I'm gonna have a look and see if I can somehow increase. Now we're gonna have that political effort soon within 1938. And once we do, we'll be able to change something drastically. Like the conscription laws. Because the world is burning. Japan is generating a lot of threat here. Look at that. 15%. 10 of them. Of those percents are actually. That. So. We've got a, about a quarter of the people now. Part of the NSB. The Dutch fascist party. We've got 80 out of 100 airplanes. Gonna remove those smaller air wings, I guess. Smaller ones. These are. The, I'm gonna keep this one around just for the funsies. There we are. Yep. Get that into reserve pool. And yep. Get that into reserve pool. There we go. That helps to get that fighter wing up to snuff or something. Cool. Trench warfare. Oh yeah, we got that now. Grand battle plan is next. And soon we'll have those support weapons too. And we're going to see what we can do with that. Have you allied with Japan yet? Well, I'm being friendly with Japan. I actually managed... Let's see. If you look at Asia. To... Uh, Oh, we're at plus 78, look at that. And we hate Japan. But probably because they're doing conquest and we're not. But they love us. They absolutely love us. And I think in Europe, Germany and us... Ooh, the Belgians are really following us in the whole fascist thing. Look at that. Oh my, that's an interesting new development. Uh, what about the German Reich? Where is the fascist Reich? Oh, well, they like us. German opinion of the Netherlands is plus 81. We no longer really hate them. And look at that. Nationalist Spain, they love us. That's perfect. We're not so uh, we're not so cool with the Italians, though, yet. So maybe we should get that as well. Talk to the, uh, the Ducci. The, the Ducci. El, du El Ducci. Let's go to default map mode, please. Hey, El Ducci. Give me some relations or something. There we go. We'll get that influence out there. I'm gonna get a bucket of influence soon, so. What's the plan? Invade France or the UK? Well, I guess France would be easier. No, man, we don't need tea. We need beer, like our neighbors here. I love my neighbors. Are these guys going fascist as well, or are they not? No, they're keeping the fascist ideology at 11%. That's unfortunate. I guess we'll boost the party popularity. I don't know. We may have to liberate uh, them. <laughs> I don't care about the, uh, the, the, the spare French here. 